Hello everyone, in this video let us uh, take a look at the setup of uh, script now for Jira on Arch Linux along with uh, IntelliJ. Now I'm making this video because uh, I use Arch Linux for my development, script now development work when I have to write scripts and uh, I prefer working on Arch Linux because uh, this is something that uh, I recently started doing around four months uh, ago. I was always uh, a Fedora user, but Fedora was uh, was not the fastest operating system, especially on my old laptops, because I use uh, really old laptops. For example, right now uh, I'm making this video and I'm showing you this on my ThinkPad X220, which is, I believe, eight year old machine and it still works fine it has 4 gb ram and uh, and it is running on uh, it has like 128 gb ssd which i upgraded some time back and on this machine arch linux works really well and uh, because i moved to arch linux i also had to set up the script runner for jira development environment again now i use of course uh, a local development environment and for writing scripts as I mentioned before in uh, many of my videos many of my script now videos I use IntelliJ and that is also I recommend because uh, when you're using IntelliJ uh, you can write scripts quickly you can uh, uh, you can basically make sure that you have access to all the Java APIs and uh, because in the, because in IntelliJ you have you have this autocomplete, you get a lot of assistance because it is not really possible for anyone to learn all the aspects of a programming language. For me, I believe in uh, getting things done. Although I have always used and I still use Emacs for most of my text editing, but uh, when it comes to writing scripts in Groovy. I prefer using IntelliJ because uh, I have never been able to write Groovy scripts for Jira as efficiently in Emacs as I can write in IntelliJ. So talking about the setup of IntelliJ, it is very simple. All you need to do, you need to use, uh, in case you're using Arch Linux, and by the way, this video is only for those users who are using Arch Linux. So you can install, and I, I guess it is also applicable in case you're using any similar version or any 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 Linux uh, environment. But I do have some specific setup that I want to talk about. So for IntelliJ, using Pacman, you can install uh, IntelliJ. Yeah, it has uh, this package name called IntelliJ-IDEA hyphen community hyphen edition. When you install it, you can then uh, run IntelliJ by simply using this command idea and that is it. But the problem is that if you're using a tiling window manager, like I do, I use a DWM on Arch Linux, it is absolutely fine and fast, sorry, uh, along with fine, of course. Uh, you might not be able to start IntelliJ properly because uh, when I started IntelliJ, I remember there was nothing but a gray area, nothing else. So I did some research online and I found that you have to basically set the name of your display manager. So you can do that by using this utility called WM name. And then you can set the name of your display man uh, of your window manager using uh, this command WM name LG3D. And at the same time, you also need to set up this environment variable. Uh, underscore java underscore awt underscore wm underscore non reparenting is equal to one and uh, when you do these two things you should be able to start IntelliJ properly uh, like this let me show you so this is my IntelliJ it looks great and uh, and I can do things quite quite easily here of course uh, the screen the screen is small the font is small but I use uh, when I'm writing scripts I always prefer using the presenter mode so that I focus on only on the code and I'm sure you have seen that uh, in my in my videos now the next thing that you can do is uh, if you want uh, these two things uh, these two settings to preserve so you can uh, add these two lines in your uh, in your profile so I, I I can add these two 
two lines in my x init rc file so whenever i start my computer again whenever i reboot my computer i don't have to do these two things over and over again uh, then of course you need, need to install maven because you need to have maven for your script now local setup and after after installing maven you can try running a script runner um, I mean, you can go to the script of official documentation and then you can clone this uh, repository, I believe, uh, that should give you this uh, set of files that you can uh, uh, use to run Jira along with uh, this really nice script runner plugin app. And uh, of course, you need uh, Maven. And uh, by the way, uh, you can go to it will come with three directories three three sub directories jira conference and bitbucket you go to jira directory and then you run mvn jira debug and uh, as you can see on my computer it is running absolutely fine although it is a very old computer but it works great uh, you might face issues with uh, maven and uh, what you can also do is if you ha if you see these errors that that complain about uh, uh, Jira Maven plugin not found then basically what you need to do uh, you can find the Maven version if you run this command uh, you will get a Maven home that is configured on your environment and then note down that particular Maven home and uh, add it to your uh, IntelliJ build configuration so you can set up the Maven home path and that, that's pretty much it so if I show you my local environment this is my local environment and, and, and it, it it is quite okay uh, and it is quite fast uh, and uh, it works wonderfully well i mean to be honest uh, i quite uh, enjoy doing local development on my arch linux because things are really fast and uh, having a local environment with intellij is uh, is really good because uh, as i mentioned before you can do things very quickly you can uh, you can you, you can write scripts quick, quickly and when you have this local environment, you can always you know do Maven clean and set up a new environment with a new version. You can go to your uh, uh, you can go to your pom dot xml, and then you can uh, configure your uh, Jira version. Like right now, it is eight dot fourteen dot one. But if if you are writing a script for a specific version of Jira, then you can do that. You can change that e quite easily. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and you also learn something new today. Thank you very much.